Right, back again for another review. And today I've got another couple of subscribers sources to do. Um, now it's been two or three weeks since I've done a review. Um, just really, really busy at the moment and finding it hard to find the time to actually sit down and do a video. But anyway, I've got a couple of sources to try today. They've been in the cupboard for ages and um, I apologise for that. Um, these are from Pete and um, yeah, he sent me these, um, I believe, well, towards the end of last year. Uh, one of these sauces is actually made with some of my pods. Um, so, both say extra hot chilli sauce. I'm going to start with um, start with this one, I guess. Um, really don't know which is going to be the hotter of the two. This is Pete's Lucifer Juice. Um, yeah, this is extra hot chilli sauce. Warning, not for the weak or infirm. Uh, ingredients in this, Naga Jalokia, Mango, Carrot, bell pepper, onion, garlic, salt, Worcester sauce, sugar, courgette, black pepper, ginger, Jamaican jerk, spice, paprika, Chinese five spice, mustard seed, fenugreek, red, white, wine vinegar and water. So as per most of other peat sauces that I've tried, um, a whole heap of ingredients in there. Um, sometimes I thought in the past that it sounds like there's too many ingredients but it always seems to blend together really well. Um, he obviously like, has a very careful use of his spices and flavours. And um, yeah, let's see what we got in this one. A little plug of stuff in the top, which I kind of expected because it's been sat in the cupboard for a little while. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Give it another little shake up and go for it again. Quite a kind of runny consistency this one. The other one looks a lot thicker. Um, so I'm getting I'm getting like a, a carrot based hot sauce smell. I'm getting like the um, I'm getting spices coming through almost mildly Indian so maybe did I, has it got fenugreek? Yeah, fenugreek, that's what I'm getting coming through. Um, yeah, it smells almost a little bit sweet, and um, yeah, let's crack into it and see what we got. Like I said, real runny consistency, yet still kind of a, you know, sort of chunky sauce. Um, yeah, it looks awesome, nice orangey, orangey brown colour. Right, this is Pete's Lucifer Juice, cheers. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. It's kind of um it's got those chunks and bits and pieces in there, but they all kind of break down in your mouth. Um it's really tasty. Quite a lot of flavours going on there. Like so I can pick out that the faint kind of curry flavours. I can pick out <coughs> the Chinese five spice as well, which is a bit unusual because you kind of got Indian and Chinese influences going on there at the same time. There's quite a few other ingredients, so I can pick out kind of individually. I'm getting like the like the tang and the sweetness from the mango, and I can taste like the onion, the carrot, the pepper. Um, heat wise, yeah it's got a bit of a kick, I've got a feeling there might be a bit of a, a creeper, um, I'm not sure which, whether it's actually Naga Jaloki or it's like a but Jaloki is used, um, but yeah it's really really nice, I can see chunks of red, um, it's either pepper or chilli pepper floating around, I'm not sure, um, but yeah it's absolutely tasty, it's really really nice great kind of everyday table sauce, just kind of whack it on everything really, um, but it's really really good. Um, I'm going to jump straight into the next one because otherwise I'm going to start running out of time. Um, this is Pete's Entity he Extra Hot Chilli Sauce. Um, ingredients in this one, uh, carrots, mustard seed, watercress, cardamom seed, tomatoes, garlic, onions, sugar, sea salt, saffron, 
unusual to see in a chilli sauce. Uh, sweet peppers, herbs and spices, red wine, vinegar and water. Um, on top of that, infinity chilli, Trinidad scorpion chilli and Trinidad scorpion maruga chilli. So yeah you kind of get through the ingredients list thinking nothing hot in there and then whack at the end three soup hots. Um, also a nice little note on that a big thank you to Paul Tonkin for the Trinidad scorpions. So yeah I remember sending Pete um, a bunch of scorpions last year and obviously they went into this sauce. So again I apologise it's taken so long to actually get it tested but um, we'll see what we got. It's, um, it's got similar notes to the other one, but it's got maybe like a slightly deeper sort of smell to it. Again, I can smell kind of, yeah, the cardamom and, and, and spices like that coming through. Not really picking out too many other flavours, not really picking out the super hops, but we'll, we'll see what happens when I try it. It's a lot thicker this one, um, but it is pouring. Yep, there we go. So I can see black pepper and bits and pieces inside there. I can see a few what it to be like yeah, seeds or spices or something. Um, ooh, okay. So yeah, I can get a nice heaped spoon of this one. And yeah, completely different consistency to the other one. Um, yeah, awesome, right. This is Pete's Entity Sauce. Cheers. smell very similar to the other one. The flavour profile is quite different. It's not as sweet as um, the loose with juice um, yet yeah, already. It's got a lot more heat than the loose with juice. I suspected it might which is why I save it till last. You do the hotter one first. Sometimes you don't pick out much in the second sauce. Ah. <coughs> yeah that's pretty warm. It's really around the front of my tongue and all around the inside of my lips. It's really whack. It's really, it's like a little blowtorch just lit up in there. So yeah, quite a powerful burn. Like I said, the flavour isn't quite as sweet. Um, I'm picking out quite a, quite a few of the spices and the mustard kind of coming through, the mustard seed, cardamom. Um, i got a feeling the I'm not going to say it's a bitter edge because it's not, it's just not a sweet first one but i got a feeling the kind of semi bitter flavour is the watercress coming through which is quite quite different, quite unusual, um, adds a bit of a depth of flavour to it and um, yeah I don't know what other herbs and spices are in there but quite a few flavours going on, I think the, the, the first one the loose for juice a lot more complex in taste, um, this one's just got yeah, a bit of a deeper flavour and um, <laughs> it's got a decent whack of heat really. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not crazy levels. It's not up there with um, with some sauces you can buy, but that, that's that got a respectable amount of heat. Um, that's still throbbing away at the front of the mouth. Not really spread into the back of the, the, back of the throat at all. Um, it really is from the kind of the midsection of the mouth forward everywhere but nothing behind that whatsoever so quite a localized sort of burn but yeah certainly three supers in there infinity chili trinidad scorpion chili and maruga chili i should have really realized that was going to be a bit of a warm one um, but i think to be honest it peaked really it kind of built really quickly but it peaked really quickly as well it's not getting any worse anymore um, it's just kind of cruising along now might have might have already begun to drop off a little bit um, but it's actually first time in a while it's actually made my gums a little bit sore um, 
don't normally get that with sauces that's normally a pod thing but yeah a respect to amount of heat and um, <coughs> another tasty sauce yeah here we go so that was Pete's Lucifer juice and Pete's entity extra hot chili sauce I don't know if these are available at all maybe Pete can leave a, a comment um, on the video to say whether any of his sauces are available um, but yeah I absolutely recommend them I've tried quite a few of his sauces and I haven't had a bad one yet so awesome thanks to Pete for sending those two and I'm um, sorry they took so long mate to get them reviewed but I said I'd get them done in the end and I have um, yeah great stuff right thanks for watching and I'll catch you again very soon cheers